everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I had a viewer that made an interesting comment and it was with regards to my video about astrophotography and AI using chat GTP. The viewer had said, um, commented that you could use it to create pixel math expressions as well. And I thought that was, um, that was really interesting to me. So I hadn't thought about that at the time when I did that other video. So I, I wanted to go back and give it a try and I did. The results were actually uh, favorable for the most part. Uh, they, they took a little tweaking. It's not that uh, you can go into it not knowing anything about pixel math. You have, you, you have to figure it out a little bit. Uh, but the AI, the chat GTP in this case, uh, did produce, it was aware of PixInsight and pixel math, and it did create equations for me, expressions I should say, sorry, that, uh, um, that it, I could use to do different things like combining a show image or LRG GB data. Um, I could even have it create a blending expression to blend two images together. Uh, those type of things. So really interesting comment and uh, I thought well let me just do a video and I'll show you guys real quick what I did and, and some of the results that I got with it. So let's uh, have a look. Okay so here we are in chat GTP and I've given it a prompt to add stars image to another image in PixInsight using pixel math, rescreen stars as a method to combine a star's image with another image in PixInsight. Now, um, it had originally given me a pixel math uh, equation right out of the gate, and this time here it's given me a little more explanation. So, interesting enough, the same question ends up having different answers, uh, almost as if, and I don't know if this is the case, but it's almost as if it's learning. But it did give me a pixel math expression here that I could use. The pixel math expression that it originally gave me was actually this one right here. And it did work. Didn't work the greatest, but it wasn't bad. The second time around, it gave me this expression right here, which I found interesting. And that actually worked a little better. Let me just uh, go over to PixInsight and I'll show you. So here's the starless image. Here's our stars and the original script that it gave me was uh, not that one sorry it was this one here one below so this was the original PixInsight expression that it gave me and if I click apply it gives me this result here stars are added into it not bad but not the greatest addition of stars um, I also will point out that <clears throat> I, uh, this is a single expression that I'm using in pixel math and I have it set to create a new image in an RGB color space. The second time I input that same question, it gave me this pixel math expression. And this one was interesting because you could actually control how bright the stars were in the image. So it was very sensitive. Two was too much. Uh, one mm, wasn't quite enough, but I, I settled on 1.5 anyways. 1.5 looked good. And again, I have it create new image in an RGB color space. So I just entered the, uh, the pixel math as a single line expression and click apply. And this was the result here. So these are the two, whoop, didn't mean to do that. These are the two different images here. So here's with one expression that chat GTP created. And here's with the other expression that chat GTP created. So this one here, I think looks the best. It did a nice job of adding the stars back in. So that's pretty cool that chat GTP, the AI can uh, come up with this pixel math expression for us. And with it giving different answers, like I said, I'm not sure if it's learning or not, but with it giving different answers, you can experiment, you can see which one works better. So in my case here, um, because it gave me a different answer the second time around, I discovered this expression works quite well. So I could save this as an icon and add it to my icon list and uh, reuse this for future image processing. Now another prompt that I gave it was to create pixel math to combine H alpha and O3 data with RGB data. And it gave me a couple of expressions, two different ones, again, two different times, but let's just drop it in and see what it provides us. So here it's actually giving us an equation, expression, and it's giving us some instructions as well. I'm just going to let it finish here. 
Okay, there it's done. So I'm gonna copy that code. I'm gonna go back and it is different than the other two times. So there's a completely different expression. But let me show you how this worked here using these expressions. So if I go back to pixel math and I go to, I believe it's this workspace here. Yeah, there it is right there. So I've got my H alpha and my O3 and I got my RGB data. And I wanna combine all these. Now remember, this is just, I'm just doing this quick. This is not processed data or anything like that. This is, this is just me putting things together for the sake of demonstration. But here's a uh, pixel math. Now this pixel math, in this case here, you had to separate it out. So um, I had to put this component of it in the red. Um, this goes into the green right here. And this went into the blue. So instead of using, a single line expression. I actually placed it under the uh, relative tabs, the red, green, and blue, as you can see. Again, create new image, RGB color space, and I click apply, and it combines all of these into this here. I'll just stretch it. Again, like I said, I'm just doing this quick on the fly. This is not how you would normally do it in terms of the data processing side of it. I'm just combining things just to give you a quick overview. Whoop, I do a control stretch. There we go. So there we've got the uh, H alpha and the uh, O3 added into the uh, RGB data. And of course, you can you know modify these values here to increase the amount of H alpha being introduced or lessen it depending on your, on your situation. Same goes for the uh, green channel and the blue channel. You can adjust those values. Okay, now another thing that I had tried was having it create pixel math expression to create a show image, so a Hubble palette image. So um, I can't remember exactly what I typed, but it was something along the lines of create pixel math. Actually, I should say PixInsight pixel math to combine H alpha, O3, and S2 data in a show Hubble palette. Let's see what it gives me. There it's giving me an expression that I can use. Now this is a different expression again than what I had originally gotten. And it's given me a bit of an explanation as well. I'm just going to let it finish here. And I'll just copy that code. I'll go back here and I'll just show you. Um, it didn't actually, I don't have that in here. I didn't save it for some reason, but I'll uh, just put this down here like that. Now, if I go to PixInsight, I can show you the equations that it gave me. So this was the original equation that it gave me right here. So here's the single line expression, create a new image, and in the RGB color space, click apply, and it gives me an error. And that's because I've got this on it here. We gotta take that off. Chat GTP adds that at the front. We don't want that on there. It should work now. There it is there. We just do an auto stretch. We'll see what we got. This isn't the greatest data, this one here, but so it's more of a grayscale image. So what this is doing is you can't do it on a single line. So what we need to do is break this out. So we're gonna do the sulfur. Uh, whoops, sorry, I should leave that there. The sulfur in the red. We're gonna put, we're gonna turn off, use a single line expression. We're gonna put the H alpha in the green. And we're gonna come back and get the blue. I'm just going to take these plus signs out and then I'll drop this into the blue. Create new image, RGB color, click apply and I'll just do an auto stretch here. And there it is there. And you can of course process this data how you want. But the fact that chat GTP gave me the uh, expression is really interesting. So there's a new one that I could try as well. 
and I could see which one I like the best. I could actually, I could keep having it repeat new expressions essentially in, in pixel math, uh, pixel math expressions and, and try each one and see which one gives me the best results. So let me know in the comments if you find this interesting. I, I certainly do. I think the potential for AI in a lot of different things in our life is uh, going to be very uh, interesting to watch progress and how it evolves. Certainly in astrophotography, we're seeing its influences. This is just yet another example of it. So thanks very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you again in another video. So for now, take care and clear skies.